Today, we're making a life-size gingerbread that glows with LED lights. This giant gingerbread is the perfect addition to any Christmas or holiday decorations. So join me for this super simple tutorial. To begin making our LED gingerbread man, we need insulation foam board. Now they sell these boards in sections of four feet by eight feet long. I always buy the one that's two inches thick. You don't wanna go thinner than two inches. Next, we need to outline our gingerbread man. You can use a Google image or a projector in order to put the image on here and then trace it. I have an easy tracer from Amazon, I use it all the time. I'm gonna link that and everything else I use on this project in the description of the video, so check it out. So whether you wanna freehand it or get a tracer slash projector, either way works for me. I'm gonna make mine about five and a half feet tall, and once we get it traced out with a marker, then we can cut it with our jigsaw. So it's super simple to do, let's get to it. Before we continue with this tutorial, I wanted to show you all the first book that I've written. It's called Little Olive and the Wally Bat, and it's rated for kids ages two to six years old. It follows a brave little olive that gets lost and is found by a very helpful brown bat. This is the first book I've ever written, and I'm super excited about it. It's available on Amazon via paperback or Kindle. So if anyone wants to support me or read it to their kiddos, go check it out. The link is in the bio of the video, Little Olive and the Wally Bat on Amazon. Now let's get back to this amazing tutorial. This is what it should look like once you're done tracing it. So we're going to get our jigsaw and we have a foam cutting saw that I just got that cuts things so much easier. Before I was using a wood blade, not good. It would leave it very choppy. But I'm gonna link the foam saw that I got so that you can use it too and it cuts everything very nicely. So let's put this on a table and let's get to cutting. Now that we've cut it out, we're gonna paint our gingerbread man. We're gonna be using a paint color called Toasty Fireplace. It's from Lowe's and we're using exterior latex paint. Let's paint it and once it dried, once it has dried, let's use a second coat on it. To continue with the gingerbread man, we have these LED flexible strip lights. I have them in warm white. We're gonna try to put them on the perimeter of the gingerbread. So let's see how this goes. The next part is gonna be a little bit tedious, but we'll get through it. We have these cable staples over here. They're three quarters of an inch. We have this heavy duty ultimate Gorilla Glue. And of course, we have our rope LED light. What we're gonna do is we're going to apply a line of glue then we're gonna start attaching the actual rope LED to it, and we're going to be using the staples to hold it in place while it dries. This will probably need a full 24 hours to cure, so we're gonna use a lot of these, like this, all along while we let it dry. Get a flat surface, I have this flat table right over here, we're gonna keep it like that, and since this is gonna to be touching the ground, I don't recommend starting right here, I recommend starting right on the side, just like this, because this will be the ground, and right here's the cable where we can connect the lights, and then go all the way around like this. This should be enough for this gingerbread man, so I'm gonna link this in the description, and let's get to it. For the eyes, I'm using a four inch diameter styrofoam ball. We're gonna cut it in half right along the seam with our insulation foam knife. We can also use styrofoam balls for the buttons, but I like to get 
fake donuts or fake candies for the buttons normally. We also have colored rope that we could use for frosting, but let's cut this in half. We can leave it white or we can paint it. So now we've gotten to this point and no, we didn't skip any steps. We haven't glued this on. So this is twisted red and white cotton rope. It is one inch in diameter. They make them in half inch as well, which is a bit cheaper, but I think the one inch diameter gives it a really big wow factor. So we've outlined the entire gingerbread man and we're gonna cut this off over here. For this size gingerbread, you need about 15 to 20 feet of rope, more. So this is about 18 feet. So definitely get 20 feet of rope. Then we're going to be using construction adhesive right over here. I'm using this crystal clear one so that it's not as noticeable. Normally we would be using hot glue, but hot glue doesn't really like rain or snow that much. You can still use it outdoors, but sometimes it comes apart in certain areas. So to prevent that, we're using the, the big stuff. We're using this construction adhesive. So we're going to start putting the adhesive, probably starting here. We'll lift it up, we'll put some, we'll set it down. We'll lift it up, we'll probably go this way actually. We'll lift it up, put some down, we'll put some down. We'll keep on doing this so we put it down exactly where it's supposed to go. Once we're done with that, we have to let it dry. I'm gonna leave it overnight up to 24 hours so that it gets a good hold. For the eyes and the button, you can definitely use this same adhesive or use hot glue, because if it falls off, you can quickly put it back on, but let's get to it really quickly. For the buttons, we're gonna get a styrofoam ball and we're gonna cut it in half. We're actually gonna cut two balls in half so we have three buttons. Then we're going to use some Mod Podge all on top of it and then we're gonna use some foam beads. There's different colors, it comes in so many different colors. I'm gonna link it in the description but I'm gonna use these right here. Once we apply the Mod Podge, I'm gonna sprinkle them on top and then let it dry. We're gonna do three of them and then we're gonna stick it with either hot glue or exterior grade construction glue um, to the gingerbread. We're almost to the end now. These have dried completely and I'm gonna use hot glue to attach them. Again, hot glue sometimes doesn't like the outdoors, but I'm gonna use it right here, it's fine. You can also use the same adhesive we used for the rope and for the LED lights. We're going to attach those three there. The smile, now this is the first time I do this. This is actually expanding foam. I got some parchment paper, I laid it down, and then I did this kind of smile right here with the um, expanding foam, just like that. Then I let it dry, and once it dried, I spray painted it with white spray paint. So it looks like frosting, and I like it. This one over here is, again, this is a styrofoam ball. These are four inches. We've cut this in half and these are the eyes. We're gonna put them like that. We're going to use hot glue to put all of it together. Once we're done, I might put a bow or something right over here and then that's it. We are done, so let's finish this off. To finish off our gingerbread man, we need to attach a piece of PVC to the back of it. Now this one is three quarters of an inch thick, but you could also use half an inch PVC. This one's cut to about four feet long, or you could cut it to the length of the gingerbread man. What this is gonna do is once we attach it here with expanding foam that I have here, we're gonna put a piece of rebar into the ground. After you stick it into the ground, this can go over the piece of rebar so it can stand upright. We need to have this attached with expanding foam so that it stands in windy, snowy, or rainy, rainy conditions. And in order to make sure that the expanding foam grabs it even stronger, I've created a narrow channel right here. It's barely an eighth of an inch deep. It's just barely a quarter of an inch wide. That's just so that when the expanding foam starts to expand, it can grab onto something over here deeper other than the back of the board. It works every time, this will be perfect. So let's just do this right there and put the expanding foam.
to light the front of the gingerbread, I'm using this landscape lighting that has a plug and it's low wattage. It's perfect for lighting up props. I'm gonna put the link in the description of the video.